Kitana wins. Fatality. What up, guys? This is Paul the SA Badger. Now, today I'm super hyped up to be reviewing this Kitana statue from Pop Culture Shock. Now, first look out of the box, knockout. I'm not seeing anything wrong with it. But give me a couple of minutes, let me dissect, let me get into it, and I'll give you my honest feedback and review. Stay tuned. So as always, let's start off with box art. Now, this is a pretty good sized box, guys. After all, this is a one-third scale statue. So front of the box basically is just a picture taken from the statue itself. As you can see, it's Kitana. Um, <clears throat> very nice artwork in the box. I love the coloring. It's a very dark toned box, though. Now, it does say Mortal Kombat, and I'll turn it to the side so it's very dark. I don't know if the camera sees it or not. You can see the dragon right there. It says Mortal Kombat. Now, it doesn't really spe specify which Mortal Kombat this Kitana is from, but based on her attire, it's obviously Mortal Kombat 9, which is kind of surprising considering that we've already had Mortal Kombat X or Mortal Kombat 10, and then we're gonna come out with Mortal Kombat 11. So for this statue to be coming out just now is pretty surprising to me, but I'm not complaining because looking at it, I'm glad that I got it. Anyway, guys, so here's uh, another shot of Kitana on the box, as you can see, um, pretty much is very identical to the to the statue there. Background has a, like a bluish, kind of greenish pattern color here going on. Very nice box. Same side is exactly the same, and just moving back to the front, just a real close-up shot of the statue. Now, just to let you know, guys, this is number 57 of 300. So that's one thing I definitely like about uh, Pop Culture Shock that. They do have a very low edition size to almost all of their pieces. So I'm very glad to have been able to grab this one. Anyway guys, let's go ahead and move on to the review. All right guys, so I gotta do this review standing up because obviously this statue is very tall. Um, as you can see, you know, it's almost my height. So let's get to the review. So starting off with the base, um, base is nice, I do like it. My only gripes with it is that I don't really understand how it really complements Kitana because when I look at this, the white with the blue kind of water, I'm thinking about snow melting away, and that's not really something that Kitana is associated with. But it does complement her, you know, the white, the patterns around the base. This blue is very nice too, you know. Now, even though it doesn't really complement Kitana as far as her character, I do feel that. The base itself as a whole does its job in the sense where it's very simple, small, a little bit of style, but it doesn't take away from the actual statue itself, which I love. Um, I've seen some statues guys that, you know, the base is just, it kind of takes away from the figure itself, which is not bad, but I like how they did it with this. So again, base is good, base is bad, um, just like I explained. Moving up, let's start off with her... Let's start with the attire. Now the attire, I think is awesome, okay? So starting off with her boots, her arm, her arm gauntlets, and her headband, they're all more or less the same way. They're painted with like this metallic um, blue that looks like it has a short, a, a small bit of clear coat over it. So it, those really shine out for guys. I mean, I'm, I'm loving it, honestly. Uh, also in her, um, I guess her waistband, if you want to call it, guys, or lack thereof, is the same thing. Um, moving on to the mixed media part, her sash right here, as you can see, you know, it actually is real material. Now, at first, um, I had also believed that this right here on her neck and the face mask itself was sculpted, right? Because it has this has no, I guess indication that it's actually material, but taking a closer look at it and more feeling it even more, yeah, it actually is also material, but it's so tightly placed there that it's all, it almost 
tricks you to think that it's sculpted, but no, it's actually material just very tightly positioned there. That thing ain't gonna go anywhere, guys. Okay, so um, moving on up, or actually let's start with her fans. So the fans are done flawlessly, guys. I think that they capture the pattern of, Mate of Kitana here, uh, which is in her boots. Now there's a pattern there, pattern. And then the fans, there's also the, the blades that they've done very nice, um, very clean, everything. Um, so I've, with the paint, yeah, I'm not, I'm seeing a couple of things here and there, very minute things, guys. Nothing that's taken away from the statue at all. What I'm seeing is like very, very minimal stuff. So for example, um, what was it? Right here in her waist, you can kind of see that silver going into, um, her hip a little bit again you're not gonna notice that guys this is just real like close-up stuff that I noticed um, then moving on to the portrait the portrait is done beautifully honestly now my only gripe with the portrait is it's just a simple portrait there's nothing more to it there's no when I look at the portrait I'm not seeing any kind of emotion anger seduction Hatred, love is just kind of just looking at you. So that's my only gripe with the portrait. I wish they could have put more expression in it. Not saying that it's bad, it's still awesome. Okay. Now, one thing that I love is her hair. Her hair is very beautifully done, especially this bob right here. And it just comes out, it's thick, it's flowing, it's wavy, has movements, and I just absolutely love that hair sculpt right there. Um, there's also details with her earrings done, you know, flawlessly. Also, looking at how they did her hairline, it actually looks like brush strokes that are very finely done. Maybe even with like a, with a sharp pen or something. Um, artistic pen, of course. Um, but that's done perfectly. Like I said, it's very fine, very detailed. Um, her body, the paint on her body I think is done perfectly not too light not too dark there's tones in the paint of her body as well you know like in the small of her back you know her center of her back the ab work is done awesome i absolutely love it uh shading and everything another thing too i like about this skull guys is these boots it's actually looks like they were real boots that she's actually sit um standing in it doesn't look like it's just kind of like um boots they made and they just kind of popped it in there. No, it actually looks like they're legit boots that she, she wore, she's wearing, okay? Uh, there's actually the space around where her legs go through, which adds that more, more detail, that more realistic detail that makes the statue more awesome, in my opinion. Um, her nails are done, fingernails, I should say. You know, even right here, guys, it creases in, uh, where, her, where her outside fingers are creased into her hand, you're, nobody's ever going to see that, but they painted them. I mean, kudos to that detail, you know, to not, to not um, slacking with that. So overall, guys, I mean, I'm very, very satisfied with this statue. Um, this actually act comes with with uh, some swap outs, so the headpiece, let me see if I can get it, the hair piece, I should say. Comes off like that, okay. And now she's bald. <laughs> the whole head comes off. It gives you the portrait without the mask. Nothing different, guys. The, the face, the portrait is the same, except now she's without the mask. And again, there, there's no, there's no emotion, but I really like how you can see, again, shadows in the cheeks, the mouth, everything. You know, the sculpt is done well. I don't know if, you, if the camera's catching it, but when I'm moving around, catching different, different light, uh, you can actually see kind of the cheek structure, the bone structure, the jaw structure. I think that's awesome. Okay. Now she also comes with a set of bloody fans. So let me get those for you. There, 
her, her bloody fangs. And I think this is a big improvement from the previous statue that Sideshow or actually Pop Culture Shock came out with Because the previous bloody statue, they had like all this clear red resin coming out of them. It just like um, goo. I don't really have, that's the best way I can describe it. It didn't really look realistic. It looked more looked like gelatin or something, the best way I can describe it. So these are the switch outs, guys. You know, the unmasked portrait and the bloody fans. I think they're a great addition to the statue, honestly. Um, I could I could see myself actually using these, but my preferred look is the original one with the mask and the unbloody fans. Um, my best idea for this would probably be yes, include her bloody fans, and you know if you wanted to include a variant statue of Kitana battle damaged, you could do that. Because to me, it's kind of like, yes, you know, these fans can cause major damage and they're bloody, but yeah, she's still perfect. So, I don't know. To me, I think she'd be, she should be battle damaged in a way with these, but it doesn't take away from it. Um, all in all, guys, like, I feel that this statue is done very well and I have no regrets of getting it. But I'm gonna give you my critique on it. That way, I can give you a score. What I, what I personally overall think about this statue. Okay. All right, guys. So here's my close-up video of Kitana. There's first of all, let's start with the portrait right there. Uh, eyes are done very, very well. I forgot to mention that. Um, so I can get those into clear focus. Yeah, as you can see, you can see the iris and the color of her eyes. I love how those eyebrows are done. You can tell that they're individually uh, just drawn in. There, the black around her eyes done flawlessly. There's the and the mask, the material I told you about. Okay, again, this is very tight. Like you can right there, you can see that I am moving it. That's the only way I was able to tell that this was actually still mixed medium. Okay, moving down to the body. Okay. Again, there's the material. Okay. Now, as you can see, like, you know, this is just the paint kind of off right there. You know, but I'm really up close to this statue, guys. You're not going to see this from a distance at all. Uh, as far as the hip goes with the paint I was mentioning before, let's see if I can capture that. Right there, you see? That's not too bad, you can't really complain. You can see her arms, different skin tones. Okay. Going down to her gauntlet. There's that, I'm glad the light is catching this metallic shine I was mentioning earlier. Okay. Her fingernails, there's her fans. A very lots of details in those fans, guys. Not only with the blades themselves, but within the fan, you can see like a small texture to actually make it look like it's real somewhat. Uh, one thing that I got I forgot to mention earlier too, guys, is that on her the magnets on her wrist that because these these come off. Okay, um, they're holding, um, but they're not tight magnets, not strong magnets. Okay, so just be wary if you decide to get this statue. I don't know if it's just mine or all of them come like that. Uh, there's that beautiful hair, that beautiful mane I was mentioning before. I mean, just look at that. That's awesome, just flowing. And also, it's not just solid black either, guys. You can see that there's some grays in there, a little bit of white. Let's give it some shading, some shadows, coloring. So, very fine detail in, as far as this statue goes. Okay, there's her earrings. There's a very fine hairline that I was mentioning earlier, so I can get it. Yeah, those sideburns actually just um, brushed in there, okay? Again, that's just detail, that's just awesome, okay? Let's see, all right. And there's her front sash, okay, all material. Okay, goes all the way down to, just past her knees, okay? And butt shot, not even looking for that. <laughs> so I can get this. 
And that's what I was talking about the boots where it actually looks legit. Like they're actually real legs in those boots, you know? I just love that attention to detail right there. Okay. Back of her boots. You know, I love this right here because it actually gives this line work because it actually looks like stitching, right? So it gives the illusion that these boots are also mixed media, but no, it's all sculpt, okay? Other boot has it too. Uh, the wrinkles in her in her boots right there. I love that. That's not just that it's not just straight. It shows some folds, wrinkling, stuff like that. Uh, there's her base right there, guys. I really I really do like this, you know. Like I mentioned earlier, it doesn't really kind of it doesn't really my opinion doesn't really go with the character of Kitana, but it still looks very, very nice. Okay, I'm not gonna complain about this base at all. Okay. There it is right there. Try a little bit. Some side. I guess that's a family crest. I'm not really sure what that symbol is, but it's all over the base and also kind of goes right here on her boots and her wrist gauntlets. Another thing that I'm just worried about that I just caught right now, guys, is right here. Okay, so as you can see, this is actually, it's, I don't know, it's glued on there or something. I'm not sure, so I'm gonna be very careful with that. Kind of scares me, but it shouldn't be a big deal. Other one has it too, as you can see it. Okay. So yeah, I mean, this is my overall view, guys, of Kitana. Again, I'm not disappointed with this statue at all. But I'm going to wrap up this video, guys, give you my final critique of it, and let you know what I think, okay? All right, guys, so let me give you my final critique and thoughts about this Kitana statue. All right, first off, as always, let's start off with execution. What execution to me, guys, is do I feel that this statue represents who Kitana is? To both fans of Mortal Kombat, the character of Kitana, and to also people who do not know who this character is. So, when I see this statue, do I feel that, yeah, that, that statue is an essence of who Kitana is? Absolutely. Um, you know, it's not just, uh, yes, it is just um, like a museum pose, just standing there posing. But it's a combination of looking sexy and powerful. Um, that's what I get from it. Now, with that said, to somebody who's not a fan, I think they're gonna grasp that as well. You know, they look at this statue and see, you know, these fans that are with blades, and you know, obviously this is kind of a quote-unquote ninja, and she's, you know, being sexy. Okay. So yeah, this is absolutely grass who Kitana is. Um, so with that, I would definitely give it a 10, okay? Um, next thing is craftsmanship. Do I feel that this statue was done well? The quality was done well. The actual scope was done well. I would say so. Um, my only gripe is um, the magnets, really. Those magnets are, they're not weak, but I just feel that they could be stronger, okay? So with that and also, um, that's my only gripe about it, honestly, guys, as far as the, the craftsmanship goes. I mean, the sculpt of the hair, the body, um, anatomy is done very well, you know. Yes, it accentuates, you know, her body, but at the same time, it's not overly done or underly done. It's just done just right, you know, it's giving off that sexy look without being too much, you know, it's just, just right, you know what I'm saying? Okay. And not only that, but it comes with all these switch outs, you know, the bloody fans, the, also, the unmasked portrait. So craftsmanship, I would have to give this, just because of the magnets, a nine, okay? The paint, you've already heard what I said about the paint, the paint is dead on, it's bang on, I love it, I have no problems, no issues with it. Um, except for those tiny little spots here and there. Uh, one other thing too guys, and again, this is just a spine, a tiny thing is where the head gets mounted on. It doesn't actually go completely flush with where her headband is, okay? Now that thing is gonna, it's like super nitpicking, so, and honestly, you're gonna be posing the statue like that. You cannot see it like that. It's in the back, hiding behind everything. You know, even if you put a mirror back here, the hair is such, 
is so full, it's gonna cover it. You're not gonna capture it. So I'm not complaining about that. Um, just those little spots here and there, here and there about the paint, guys. Um, if it was perfect, I'd give it a 10, but obviously I was able to catch some things, so I could give it a nine, okay? Uh, next thing is originality. To me, originality is we take a character, okay, whoever it is, and we put them in a pose or um, a stance, whatever the case may be, where it's like, wow, you know, like, I haven't seen that before, or man, the artist was actually pushing the envelope and wanted to do something different with this statue and also making it look good. Now, obviously I can't give that originality here because it's just, you know, museum pose, just standing there, you know, presenting herself. Now, that's not to say that it's bad, I think that it was an excellent choice, you know, especially with the characters in Mortal Kombat. Um, you, re you know, having them stand up, especially with Kitana, it's kind of like, if you had her in any kind of pose based on how, especially how she's dressed, it would go more for just kind of marking for, like, sexuality, which I don't really like to get statues because of that. So I think just a good, nice, strong, sexy pose, like the way she's done, worked out very well. Okay. So the originality, I would have to give that, in this case, a, an 8, okay? Um, now the final thing, value. Based on what I see, my review of the statue, and what I paid for it, do I feel like this statue is worth what I paid for it? Absolutely. Okay, so I paid $700 for it, free shipping, okay? And when I got it out of the box and put it together, it was just like, wow, blue. I, I, I saw the pictures, but it blew my expectations. And even now looking at it now, and it, with everything that I just saw, I'm still amazed by it. Now, honestly, yes, I did pay $700 for it, but I would give the value a 10, okay? Because I think $700 for a one-third scale statue, this amazing is a bargain. You really don't see that anymore. Um, I myself would be willing to pay for this statue if it was no longer available. I'd be willing to pay up to a thousand for it, honestly. So I paid seven hundred, but I would be willing to pay three hundred on top of that. So with that, again, reiterating, to me the value on this statue is a ten. Easy brain. Okay, no brain. I'm sorry. <laughs> So anyway guys, that's my that's my review on the Kitana statue. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed this statue. Um, as far as I know, it's actually uh, waitlisted on Sideshow right now, so you still do have a chance to get it, and I would highly recommend it. If you do want to get it, jump on it now, because we, I don't know what that waitlist looks like. Um, but if you enjoyed this video, please give me that thumbs up. Please consider subscribing, and if you do, please ring that bell so you know when I come out with more statue reviews like this. And uh, please comment and share this video with whoever you think may enjoy this video. As always, guys, thank you for watching this video. It means the world to me. Thank you. You wanna know what to say? The narcissist, better watch yourself. You wanna know what?